Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And if by any reason you have a video with a watermark right over here and you want to remove it or an image, then probably this software is for you. Now, this is the first time that we are looking at the software of watermark removal for videos and images and a lot more, which I will share with you, but totally online. So it doesn't matter the operating system that you have, doesn't matter the computer that you have, doesn't need to be powerful or not, you will be able to do everything on the cloud. Now, there will be a link down below that you can create your account and register for a basic free account for one month. And if you want to try the deluxe pack, you need to do is to share this video and then contact through the email and they will activate your account with a deluxe account for one month so that you can try everything. So regardless of what I'm going to share with you with some things are really, really interesting, the best option is try it for yourself, have fun and let's go for it. Now we have a lot of options. We are, will be focused mainly on the watermark removal, starting with videos. Now, as you guys know, I'm really curious. So I did a lot of tests and I did create quite a few videos. Now the first we just need to select the video watermark remover and we need to upload one video or we can upload several. I did five which some of them are really aggressive. Actually I put some watermarks right here on the middle which is abusive. Usually the watermarks are on a corner or another or on another area but I wanted to try all. So as you can see right over there, we will have a tool that we can select where the watermark is. And then we just need to press a button which says start with its artificial intelligence algorithm and it will remove that particular watermark. The process is quick and once again, it's not relying on our computer. So everything is done on their servers with their uh, CPUs and RAM and fast SSDs and so on and so forth. So the process is really nice. Now, what I got there were uh, several results and all of them were really interesting to analyze. First of all, if we have a normal video with a normal watermark, which usually is a logo on a corner, then the software will be just fine. It will take care of that without any issues whatsoever. I did a few uh, samples with the text on a white part, removed just fine. I also did a little bit harder, which is a watermark right over here on this side of the video, which I have movement with the lights and so on and so forth. It also did a really nice job. And one of the things that we will analyze is that we are looking at an image and then we will compare with another image and we will see the difference. But if we don't compare, if we see that image for the first time, and I did that test with some family members, it is really hard, even for those that know this setup, to see where it was. Now, the only thing that uh, we see right over there, which is notable, is where we have movements. I do have a few clips right over there where my head will move towards the letters. And I wanted to see the reaction of the algorithm. And we will see um, in black or white, I can't recall, the watermark right over there, a little bit of the watermark. So that's the only flaw that we have. Whereas movement, sometimes it's not really easy, especially when we are capturing the face of someone. But usually watermarks are not on top of faces. So I do believe that my tests were more aggressive than they need to be. But I wanted to share with you the extreme as we always do with any kind of software. Now this is regarding video. Let's move on to the image part which is a little bit different and really nice to use. The process is the same. We just need to select image water remover, upload the images. I did try with seven if I'm not mistaken, more or less with the same aspect that I did on the videos. And we have another tool right over there. We can draw a rectangle over the watermark or we can use the brush or eraser tool, as you want to call it, to remove that watermark. And my conclusion is that though there will be scenarios where the rectangle tool will work just fine, as it did on videos, uh, on plain surfaces like a table, for example, or even on an area such as this with my LEDs and so on and so forth, it will work great. 
not perfect but great and once again if you imagine that you are not comparing then you will have a nice image right over there and i did find a better result when i did use the eraser tool so i could be more detailed and the algorithm will work uh, a little bit slower because i'm drawing the algorithm will work at the same pace but it will give me a lot better results and we can see it these two images right over there one of which is this chair which was a little bit blurred but when i used the eraser it worked just fine and the other one was also an image here on the office with a lot of um, letters all over the screen and the result was a lot better when i did use the eraser and in reality if we use in a normal watermark on any area of the screen it will work just awesome and i would suggest when you try it out see the difference for yourself by using the rectangle tool or the eraser and you'll notice a big difference which makes almost perfect even on surfaces that it's not easy because the algorithm has to draw pixels where they don't exist now moving on to the next part which is to add a watermark to video so this is a little bit easier and it was straightforward we just need to upload the video and after that we will have two choices one of which is to add text we can customize the text in terms of size in terms of color and we can place it anywhere we want or we can use a image in my particular case i did use a png transparency because i wanted to test out if it worked and it did work with transparency so no issues we can add a logo type for example and it will work Great. The same will happen with images. Uh, we just need to upload the image and then select the text or the uh, PNG or logo that we want to add the watermark. And that is it. Simple as this, really fast, quick. So once again, the advantage of working on the cloud is this. It doesn't matter if I have a good or not so good computer. It will work as fast on slower and faster computers. Now, we also have an option for subtitles, which is something that I usually don't use. But if you are looking for a software that will try to find out the subtitles, of course, I did try with a Portuguese video, so the results were not that good. But I can upload SRT uh, files and we will have a video with a subtitle if we want to separate audio from our video we can also do that we just need to upload the video press the button and we will have an audio file instead of the video and finally if we want to convert any format of video to an mp4 then we also have that option just upload it and then press the button and once it finishes download and that is it by the way i didn't mention but every time that we finish a file we will need to download while the window is open and it will stay open until we close it but the server will not keep our files right over there i do believe that their system has a timer that once the processes are finished and there are a lot of people using it so they will have to trash all those data once the person downloads to its computer so just have that in mind if you close the window you will not have the link and basically this is it my experience with watermark cloud was really really interesting this was as i said the first time that we used such a service online usually we need dedicated software for this which is quite heavy on some computers but in here on the cloud doesn't matter which computer i do have you saw the results for yourself but i would invite you to try them out for yourself which is the best experience possible and also pay attention to watermark cloud because they have more features coming in they have started not so long ago they are at the beginning they are improving a lot of features so this is something to keep an eye on because they have a lot of potential right over here that being said hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George today with Watermark Cloud and as always I'll see you guys on the next one